Jeez, pie. Where did he come from? Hello, Michael here to answer some questions that people often have about pie. Now, the first question most people have is, what is pi? And in order to answer that question, we need to know it's about circles. We need to know the word circumference, radius, diameter, and this word as well, ratio. Now, the circumference of a circle, usually given the symbol capital C, is the distance from one point all the way around the outside and back to that point. D, the diameter of a circle, is the distance from one side to the other passing through the center. And R, the radius, is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside. And a very important relationship is that the diameter here is twice the radius. So now we know the meaning of all these words, we can answer the question, what is pi? Pi is simply the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And it's about 3.14. And if you look at a circle, you can easily imagine that the circumference is round about three times the diameter, which is what this tells you. Sometimes we write it in terms of, not the diameter, but the radius. So we say that pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to twice the radius. Now, usually, we write the formula in either this form or this form. We write it that c, the circumference, equals pi d, about 3 times the diameter. C equals pi d. Or sometimes we write it in the form that C is equal to pi multiplied by twice the radius. But we write it as C equals 2 pi r because we like to put the numbers before the symbols. So just to really clarify the answer to the question, what is pi? It's the ratio. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Now there are also two more questions that people frequently ask. The first one is, so why should anyone want to know? Well, the first reason I suppose is curiosity. Thousands upon thousands of years ago, people knew that circles were important for understanding nature, understanding the world that they lived in. And they realised that there was a relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. And they studied it out of curiosity more than anything else. And then it soon became apparent that knowing about pi was absolutely vital for doing any kind of science and any kind of engineering. So why should anybody want to know about pi? For curiosity, and if you're a scientist or an engineer, it's absolutely vital for you to know. And another question I often get asked is, well, how can I use it? Well, if you're a dressmaker, you might want to know how much lace to use for the hem of a skirt, for example. Or if you're a brickie, you might want to know how many bricks you need to edge a circular pond or to build a circular wall. You see, so many different people use pi that I can't give you a definite answer to how can you use it. It depends on what you're interested in. So if you want to know how you can use it, the best answer that I can possibly give you is ask your teachers or consult your textbooks. So there's a little bit of information and I hope you found it useful about pi.